Mogyo Gingo Dinga University. I have but a question and the first case. I want to ask the people from the Hell Board. There are for three years per now, but when we joined, we applied for these loans. And so I'm expected to settle my loan that is summing to almost 240 plus the interest. I know it can't exceed over 300,000. But today, with the new funding model, how much are these students expected to pay at the end of their fourth year? Another question. You say that uh, the banding began in 1986, but it never sounded like it sounds today. We never knew that these bands existed. Okay, maybe the ideas and the ideologies are good, but the mode of implementation has gone astray. Why could you do this so that these students doesn't know or get to know where they're placed because as they join, they must ask which band am I placed so that they can know which fee they're going to pay. His Excellency, in the field of education, is a place that requires silence. It doesn't require spectators or fans to cheer as we sit in class to take our exams or a referee to be biased on the other team. Under the capacity of your office, you are capable of facilitating and capacitating the reconstruction of this new funding model to be worth for us. Please do. Thank you. Thank you for this chance. Okay, they are saying too much behind. Maybe after you, we'll come forward here. But uh... with respect to hierarchy, uh, my name is Melody Weremonjeri um, from JQuat. I'm also a law student. Uh, my question is on late disbursement of funds to students. As it stands in the previous, uh, there are previous instances where late disbursement of loans to students was a common occurrence. And I happen to be uh, uh, to sit in a chair, uh, to chair in a bursary committee in my university. And it's really disheartening to see students unable to do their exams because school fees has not been fully catered for by the time the exams begin. What is the government or the help uh, planning to do in that regard so that we can minimize these instances of late disbursements to universities? Thank you. Thank you, Melody. Um, finally, just let, let's just we'll, we'll do another round. Just, then we'll come back to you and we'll come to the people here. Yes, who? Okay, somebody in front. Uh, I want uh, first to acknowledge your presence as the fifth president and the commander in chief of the armed forces. <coughs> uh, my beautiful name that my father gave me is Kisero Junior Kennedy Otien. I'm the Secretary General of Kenya Methodist University. And uh, I have a few things to put across, Your Excellency. First, uh, when I entered this hall, I like checking where I am. I saw from whatever is written here, hashtag fears fallen. Your Excellency, the fear has not fallen. That's why we are here. So, and uh, uh, first thing first, uh, Mr. President, I've been privileged to be under your administration in two capacities. Uh, one, I, I enjoyed your administration when you were an MP in Eldoret North. Yeah, we used to learn apo kamagut, apo chini, karibu na kwen. Yes. And uh, secondly, I've also experienced your leadership now that you are the president. Mr. President, I can assure you, 
they are totally different. Uh, from when you were MP, people used to go to the street to celebrate your achievements. Nowadays, we just go to the streets to demonstrate. Yeah. And uh, Mr. President, uh, don't get me wrong in the first place. Uh, the reason is why I know when you are the president, it comes with a lot of responsibility and people to, to advise. And uh, I will start off by saying those who advised in this new funding model, uh, I will not be wrong to say there is a problem. And that's why they, we are here. We have to go back to the drawing board. We have to start off afresh.